going back to that with the garage. Kind of an unplanned event, but my son has decided to pretty much just told me, Dad, we're dragging the SVO out. It's been sitting for seven years. Got frustrated with it. Uh, my trigger wheel is just a tad off center apparently and it keeps chewing up crank sensors and I got mad and parked it. So she's been sitting for a while. Well, let me introduce to you my 84 SVO. Has a built 2.3 unit, diamond pistons, crower rods, got a big hole sit on it, big intercooler I made, fabricated intake, fabricated tether, and yes, you're reading that right. Folks, this is one of the first Falvo SVOs that was ever built. Got this, did this about 10 years ago. God, longer now. I take that back. About 15 years ago, I built this and slowly improved it. It's got a Cobra Hider Boost, Cobra Rack. This is all 80, 03, 04 stuff. So it's got the uh, 03 Cobra Rack, Hider Boost, front brakes. It's got Maxim Motorsports lower control arms, Cobra Bilstein's up front. With a coil over conversion, subframe connectors, got Cobra brakes in the back, got a sump tank, aeromotive fuel pump filler system, and an IRS out of an 03 Cobra. I put the T tops in it. Fortunately, it seems uh, got some areas I'm gonna have to fix there, apparently kind of annoying but it is what it is and I got some spots up here on the roof so it looks like I'm going to have some work cut out for me to drain all the fluids each tires the uh, DOTs have seen much better days but other than some minor itty bitty some rust spots across here some on the other side and a spot on the roof I think there's a last I saw there was about a quarter size hole in the floor other than that this car is clean no rust it's been wrecked a number of times the front end here has all this sheet metal here forward it was actually off a of 93 i replaced the whole front clip because it had been run off road and the front end was all mangled up and this was before all the reproduction parts were available the passengers Three quarter has been replaced at some point prior to my ownership. Again, it probably got a tail whip on it and slapped to something or another, but uh, that's been replaced. It was running on a Mega Squirt. I will probably go back to the Mega Squirt. Uh, I may go do a Spadrino as I have one of, I've actually got two Mega Squirts and a Spadrino here. Let's see which one I go back with. But, uh, before I get that far into it, I'm going to get tore down a little bit and we'll get it cleaned up. I just knocked off seven years of dust and dirt and grime. Still not perfectly clean. I guess she'll get a good bath now. Interior needs clean. She mildew up, mildewed up a little bit. I did keep her in underneath the car cover most of the time. Uh, until it rotted off last year and I haven't replaced it. I also got a pedal assembly from an 03 Cobra Got an Innovate on it For a wide band Got a new dash for it That I've had sitting for years, so I'll probably get to the things I didn't do last time, which is uh, About time I get back on this car. I really do like this car. It is a fun car to drive especially with the IRS and everything she still tail whips like a typical Mustang. It's got four tens in it, posi traction. Still got the original 84 T5. I have a world class T5 I can need to rebuild in the basement that'll go for it if I need it. Uh, today's project is uh, continue cleaning up on her, and we'll be back. See you soon. Now, oh, welcome back. Move the car up a bit. 
<laughs> Tops out. I'm not gonna put the bi wing back on it. I've repaired it several times and I'm just done with it. So I've got an 86 LX wing, which I'm just gonna put on in its place. Still needs another more more of a bath time, but we're getting there. See what's going on here with the roof. A charger on, see if I can get a little bit of the battery in it so I can get these windows up and down. And we're going to continue on uh, cleaning here. I think once the uh, sun moves around the, the trees and gets uh, a little cooler, I'll probably put it up on all fours, take the wheels off, check all the brakes and everything. From what I can see underneath the hood, everything, the lines look good, but I wonder what's you know underneath. That's always the worst. It takes the worst. The axle should be back because I redid those when I put that in. So those were new. This have braided steel bra or fuel lines. So those should be alright. I need to drain the tank. I've already drained the coolant. I'm drain the oil. Let's see, I'm going to change all the fluids. They've been sitting for a good while. Still a pretty color. It's that bright amber orange that they used on the Explorers for a while. My first uh, metallic paint job I did too. It didn't turn out too bad for just a goofball here doing it right here in the driveway and this is exactly where I shot it. it was either here or in my garage. I did uh, jammed it out here in the driveway and then did the final paint in the garage. So this is just a single car garage as you can see. So I saw a goofball in his driveway. It turned out fairly well. Still sort of playing in my head of what the goal is here. So, uh, obviously, tires are shot, battery's shot, needs fluids, check all the mechanicals, mix the brakes and everything. Actually, brakes are good, the brakes are working. So, out of that, to uh, start cleaning it, I get the rest of the cleaning done here. See what I can do about the other door panel, which is pretty crappy. See if I can salvage it. Maybe I can. I don't know if they just if they sell just the hardboards for the bat for it. Excuse me. The panel itself, is the vinyl is not bad, and the cloth is fine. Uh, it's just the the cardboard hardboard has gone to garbage. I hate to have to buy. A, what if they sell them bare? Who knows? I'll have to check into that. Needs that. Looks like I'm going to, have to replace the. Uh, out weather strip seals here on the outside of the roof here they didn't hold up unfortunately these were all new uh, so i'm gonna get this one drilled out because they're held in the pop rivets get this trim pulled off at the same time it's held in by the same pop rivets get trim pulled off the windshield excuse me i'm videotaping here uh and start working on this roof section here get that taken care of before it gets worse and I don't know if we do the crank and a crank sensor or a crank pulley and crank sensor bracket that has to be sorted uh, I'm just running Edis with a mega squirt so that's not too bad make sure if the fuel system checks out all right and the pumps and everything's good and the tank is still clean then we'll put some fresh fluids in it Put about five gallons of 93 in there and see if she'll fire up. I still got all my tunes and all that from when I had to, the Mega Squirt running it. So it might not take a whole lot to breathe a little fire back into this. But uh, we'll see what we can scare up for tires. That's going to be the big ticket item that I really don't have money for right now. Uh, see if I can scram some, some good used rubber. I mean, just 17s. I can sure I can find some 17 inch tires that'll suffice. They used to be better than these old, uh, these, these are probably pushing 15 years old now. And the DOTs are cracked. And that's how we had to replace the valve stem and the other one just to uh, just to help pump it up. And I know this one leaks, leaks down. So now that said, the, the DOTs, the Nidos, uh, have never needed air. They've held really well. Extra goodies in here. 
and our valve cover painted orange. Got a set of Cobra metal assembly over there. This is just a box of spares and let's see, we got nuts and bolts, we've got gaskets, we've got seals, so this is all the stuff that goes along with this vehicle. So let's get busy. Be right back. Right, welcome back. Sun has finally gotten around the house here and starting to cool off a little bit. Got this boiler, I want to get it cleaned up here. Now that the sun's gone around the corner, I've been slowly cleaning the glass. We'll need to put some polish on it. It's got a light rough to it. Probably saps and stuff from over the years. I did get the molding pulled across the front here. I'll have to remove the windshield molding. And one of the first things I want to address is that issue right there. I want to get that repaired, get this all stripped back, get that rust neutralized, and get that front piece sealed up again and cleaned up and sealed so that problem doesn't come back. I got something over here. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. It's hard to tell. I see sometimes. You can't see it in here right now. This is some modeling. I can't really catch it in reflection. I don't know if the camera's picking up everything, but it's it's like it's fish eye for some reason. And it's not fish eyes. Because this happened years after the fact. So the roof in and of itself needs stripped. Looks like over the years I did mold in the spoiler. It's popped on me a few places, so I need to clean that up. Some dents and dings on the hood that need to be repaired. As far as the body, spot right there looks like it's starting to work out. And all on this edge needs to be cleaned up. Pretty much got a scratch there. More rust that needs to be cleaned up in here. Same thing along there. But overall, it's held up pretty good being just sitting there some light scratches from stuff walking in there, but I'll rough polish out. I'm thinking once I get this roof fixed, because of the how difficult it would be to try to match this color again and paint it, I might two-tone this. Uh, actually go ahead and do the top in black. Might annoy a few people, that's fine. The modern me it's not there right. Uh, but it would get to take care of the paint issues and make it look nice again so i think that's probably what's going to happen is i'll probably do it two-tone i'll black it i'll scuff the entire car paint the top black and then re-clear the entire car i think that's probably going to be my plan of action looking at some tires probably some bf goodrich sports comps sport comps or whatever look to be the most affordable once i get going back on the motor here uh i have something like i said i've got a crank sensor issue that i need to deal with so i'll be draining all the fluids out of it i'll probably take all this stuff apart so I can get access, get the uh, alternator off, dig back into where my crank sensor is, and propose, got a new, there's been some new solutions since the last I put this together, which was about, well, I last drove it in seven, so I built it about 10 years ago. Get a new 925 battery, that's 150 bucks. Looks to be about 600 bucks for tires. I got a mega squirt and a spadrino that I could run on this. We'll see which one I choose on that. And from there, it's just a matter of just cleaning it up, detailing it. So I'll get up underneath of it tomorrow. That'll be in the next episode. We'll be getting underneath of it, seeing what it looks like underneath. Should be too hateful. It's been on concrete and or gravel and always cleaned up anyway, other than it just needed a good bath so we'll get up on all fours get all four jack stands tomorrow get the wheels off 
roll around underneath of it, see what's going on, take note of anything I see that's out of place or needs the attention, mainly brake lines. Uh, like I said, fuel lines are braided steel lines, so they shouldn't be issues with those at all. Gas tank needs drained out. Probably take, take the, the pump and filters out and clean them up real well. Get them back on. But, that was garage. Unplanned. My kid twisted my arm. Well, twisted my arm. I basically said dad were pulling the SVO out. So, new projects. We're back on old projects. Stick around. We'll get this thing back to life. That'll be the next series. Take care.